I'm Katie Jones, I'm Margaret's granddaughter and she was bringing me home from school one day as she always did and we'd pulled up outside the house, everything was fine, we had a laugh about her driving and just had a general chat and walked around to her side of the car to get my books out of the back and we were both standing with our doors open and the car just started to roll. It was a big jag, it was like a tank as we nicknamed it, it was really heavy so we both kind of grabbed onto the door and as if to push it and then realised we couldn't and the car, the way it went, it almost looked as if it was going to go down the hill into our neighbour's house. So I kind of jumped out of the way in a second and as I turned round the car did a kind of C, it did a loop and I turned round and Nanny was on the ground and it was one of those things again, it felt like it was a movie, it was like slow motion. I kind of ran up the hill to her and dropped beside her and grabbed my phone and was like, okay, I need to call an ambulance, I need to call 999. And then got onto the phone and my neighbour's granddad, who was a lovely man, said, look, go get towels, you need towels. So I ran up to our back gate and shouldered our gate, which mum laughs about now because I literally broke the bolt off the gate. Um, to get in and got into our house and grabbed some tea towels and came down and that's when our neighbour's granddad took the phone off me and said look let me talk to um, the ambulance because I started to get quite upset and it kind of started to hit me and I don't know what he said he still has never told me what he said on the phone to make the ambulance came so quickly but within minutes an ambulance arrived and then the air ambulance arrived all in the middle of half three everyone coming home from school. So it was families and little kids and all of our neighbor and we're quite, there's a lot of families here. So everyone was out and a lot of my neighbors actually came over to me and were really helpful. They were giving me hugs. They had arms around my shoulders, brought me cups of tea to try and calm me down. And even Nanny herself, I was crouched beside her while she was in an awful state and awful pain and kept holding my hand going, I'm okay pet, don't cry, I'll be fine and um, she was just, up until that point, she just kept trying to comfort me and didn't realise, I think, how bad she was, even herself. And then air ambulance arrived, as they did, and really kind of told everyone else to move out of the way. And by that point, mum had got home and my aunt had come over from her work. So there was a lot of our family there at this point and they got Nanny onto a stretcher. Even looking back on it, there was a point me and my aunt and my mum were standing in our driveway and it felt like you were literally watching like a filming of Casualty or Holby City because it just didn't seem real. There was ambulance everywhere, there were paramedics. Nanny's clothes were cut off and thrown all over the ground. It was like looking at a war zone. There was tire marks in the grass. There was literally a river of like red blood down the road. Nanny's phone was smashed on the ground. Her glasses were in bits and like clothes everywhere. And it was kind of, the whole neighborhood kind of just stopped for a minute and like watched because it was so unbelievable that this ever happened. It was just a normal Thursday afternoon and then suddenly Nanny was in a life-threatening condition and we didn't know if she was gonna make it. We wanted to hold a garden party and kind of make the Air Ambulance our nominated charity that we would work towards and fundraise for. So we did a lot of stuff and work. We had a day that we all wore red t-shirts and donated a couple of pounds in. We had this big garden party where we invited all of our residents' families. We had ice cream, we had burgers, everyone donated some and it was great. It was really good. And when Nanny then got in contact with the Air Ambulance for her art exhibition, she wanted to fundraise for the Air Ambulance as well. They actually commented that she was one of the first survivors that they'd ever talked to and this was a really big deal for them so they brought us up t-shirts and um, money pots and key rings and everything and it was just great. It, we wanted to give back to the people who really did change our lives. <laughs>